Yo, what's up guys? My name is Eric and right now I am outside sitting on the go-kart to make this video. It's really cold out. It's like 15 degrees, I think. I don't know. Anyway though, uh, let's hit the intro so we can get started. Before we start this video, I just want to apologize. This video would not be the greatest because, well, the go-kart, I had a lot of footage which I was going to get into really a lot of detail on how I made this go-kart, but I lost a lot of the footage. So I more made a video going basically over how I made my go-kart, which you can't really follow the instructions on how I made my go-kart. I'm hoping to at least give you some ideas if you want to make a go-kart yourself. Anyway, let's move on in the video. So first, I found this go-kart body, but it needs to be modified. So we're going to cut off the back and we're going to extend it and also remove the chair frame. Now that the frame is in half, we push the back back and then we started welding it back together. After it was briefly welded together, I took some tools and cleaned up the back. Then we welded some more metal on the back for more support. Then we welded two pieces of metal on the back by the wheel axle so it can support the engine. Then we had to drill four holes for the engine. So I did shoot some videos of how we put together the chair, but unfortunately I managed to lose those video files. So anyway, here is the chair. Basically we just ordered two pieces of the chair, the backrest and then the butt seat, whatever. Uh, we just have an L-shaped frame which we made, we welded that together, and then we took the chair frame and we screwed it onto the go-kart body. Next, we took a sheet of metal and we screwed it onto the go-kart body so we can mount the jack shaft onto it. After the jack shaft was in place, then we mounted the engine. Now, quickly mentioning the engine, we have a 6.5 horsepower engine, and on the side of the engine we have the torque converter, which is the piece of metal with the black belt on it. Anyway, once the engine was in place, then we had a chain going from the torque converter to the jack shaft. And then on the other end of the jack shaft, we have another chain which goes from the jack shaft to the gear on the main axle of the wheels. The setup we have on this go-kart really gives the go-kart a lot of torque. Anyway, now that we have everything briefly set up, let's test the engine. Now that the basics of the go-kart is all set up, now we have to take apart everything and paint the go-kart. Bam! Now it is painted red, but we're not done yet. We then had to reattach everything such as the engine, the jack shaft, and also the chair. Once the basic components of the go-kart were set up, then we added extra things such as a battery for the electric start built into the engine. Then we added some foam for the armrests, and also added some lights on the front. So that's how I made my go-kart. Sorry that I really didn't go into much detail. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll try to answer them because I think I can answer them. Anyway though, I'm really cold so I don't really know what I'm saying. Anyway though, I hope you liked the video and my name is Eric and I'm signing out. Is this still recording? Still is.